Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Running here. How you guys all doing? I hope you all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I just want to do a video where I show you guys what software I am specifically using in Hive OS for most of my mining rigs, as well as my overclock and undervolt settings, what I'm using for most of my GPUs. So I'm going to show you like 1660s, my 3080s, my Radeon 7s, and uh, 5700s, and 580 4 gigabyte cards. Okay, so I'm going to show you those. As I've seen, some people have been asking me, you know, what's my overclock settings in Hive OS? So this is just going to be a simple video doing that, and hopefully some people can get some valuable information out of it. So first, I want to start off with what software I'm personally using in Hive OS currently. So for NVIDIA cards, all of actually all of my NVIDIA cards, I've been using T-Rex Miner, the latest version. Uh, looks like they just recently updated three days ago, so it looks like I'll have to do that on all of my NVIDIA rigs. But you can see here, I've been using this miner for the past, I would say, couple months, as uh, it's just been working really well for me for my 30 series cards. As for me, I mainly have, I think, 30 series cards now. I do have some 10 series left, but not much. And I also do have some 20 series cards, uh, which I'll show as well, uh, the overclock settings for those. And then the next miner that I use a lot for my AMD cards, for all of my AMD cards, is Team Red Miner. Now, this is one that I'm sure a lot of people use as well. I use this for my 5700s, my RX 580s, uh, which I'll show you guys in a second here in my Hive OS. Okay, so I'll have these two linked down below just for what I use. I mean, if you're using Hive OS, then you don't need to download it. It's already been uh, preloaded or downloaded in Hive OS. You just have to change your flight sheet, uh, which I won't show that in this video. But if you would like to know how to use Hive OS, I will have a video linked down below to Mining Chamber. He has an amazing how to video. On how to do that okay so first rig I want to show you guys in terms of you know what my overclock settings and stuff is is this rig here this is a 6x1660 Zotac rig and this is the one where I made a video called building a cheap $2,500 ish mining rig and I think people are saying you know that's too cheap and so I've actually brought it up to like $3,000 so the reasons why I mentioned that is because I am doing a test here of trying to see how long it'll take me to break even on this rig specifically. So 1660 Zotac, you guys can see right here. Uh, I'm being transparent here. You guys can see the wallet address if you'd like. Uh, we can actually see how much Ethereum it has right now. And it has 0 0.33772 as of right now, about $615. We started this test on February 10th. Okay, so that's when I started mining on, on this rig. And so, yeah, I guess I will let you guys know whenever we break even on this rig. Okay, but anyways, these are 1660s non-TI, non-supers, and these are my overclock settings here. I have 60% uh, fan, minus 200 core, plus 1600 in the memory. Okay, so one thing to note here is in the memory, you have to use double, all right, if you're on Linux or Hive OS mainly. As I know in Windows, I would normally have these at 800 plus 800 in like MSI Afterburner, but uh, Hive OS states that you need to basically double it in, in Hive OS there. So, and then finally, I have 75 power limit which is basically 75 watts and you guys can see the power consumption that correlates with those numbers right there and yeah getting about 26.5 mega hash on each of these uh, Zotac 1660s okay so yeah so that's the first rig okay guys next rig I want to talk about is my RX 584 gigabyte cards okay so I am now mining these cards. Oh, I've, I've actually been mining Ravencoin on these cards for a long time now. Uh, ever since, you guys know, probably with LOL Miner, they had the zombie mode. And, you know, as the cards were going down, uh, sorry, as the DAG size was essentially going up, the hash rate was going down on the 4 gigabyte cards because they had a zombie mode for, for LOL Miner. But now I have these cards on Team Red Miner. And as you guys can see, I am getting about 14. 15.23 mega hash on uh, on Ravencoin, the Kapow algorithm. Okay, so this rig is has been really good. You guys can see the miner uptime has been 12 days. Uh, it looks like uh, I'll have to do some updates, but generally it's been going really good. I don't think I need to restart it, but you can see my overclock settings here. Actually, we go to overclocking, uh, go to edit. So you can see what I am using for for my six 580s, four gigabyte cards. Now, you may wonder why Red Panda, how come you have different numbers here? These represent each GPU uh, corresponding to what number? Okay, so some of them I did need to up the voltage or core. You guys see the core voltage, some of them are 830, some of them are 810. So this is just me playing around because this rig before was not stable. 
Okay, so yeah, that's one thing to note. If some people are having a hard time, you know, their rig is restarting randomly or something, then it's most likely 100% the overclocks or undervolts. You may just need to give it a little bit more juice like I had to do on this GPU and this GPU. Okay, so yeah, there's my overclock settings here. I also have the refresh rate here at 20. Um, I have aggressive undervolt setting clicked, 60 fan. I mean, the fan will depend on your ambient temperature if and the temperatures of your GPUs. So you can change that to whatever you guys uh, like. But uh, anyways, yeah, I've been mining with Team Red Miner here. Get a 99.8% uh, accepted share rate here. And I have 38 rejected shares over the past 12 days, which is which is really good on this rig. Really good. Almost 14, 15 mega hash on these ARC 580s, which is, which is just amazing, right? And you can see the power consumption, it says 488, but it's actually close to like, I think 750, 740 watts uh, at the wall. Okay, so there you go. That was my RX 580s. Next rig, guys. Let's keep it going here. I have my RX 5700 rigs here. So here we go. Uh, these are actually the MSI Mech Edition cards. Uh, so I have some Samsung. I have some Micron. But you can see my overclock settings here. And uh, let me just uh, actually go to here, overclocking. So I do have some custom overclock numbers here for some of the GPUs, as I did have an issue with uh, the rig rebooting. Okay, I actually still do have an issue with this rig rebooting. You guys can see the uptime is only about four hours because recently it just restarted. So uh, I actually closed out the message there. But yeah, uh, this rig, <laughs> most of my AMD rigs have an issue in some form or fashion in terms of overclock or undervolt. It takes quite a bit of fine tuning to do. But, you know, overall, though, the rig is running good. I have this in a Mindbox 8 and in a server case. And yeah, these are the settings that I'm using. I know some people can get even less. Uh, power consumption, but I haven't really fine-tuned this rig the best that I can. I just <laughs> I just haven't had much time to really sit down and just play around with the rig, and uh, it's in, a, in my remote location, so I can't really just do it remotely right now, as uh, it might just uh, turn off, <laughs> so then I have to go drive there. But anyways, here's my 5700 rig. You guys can see my settings here. Okay, next rig I want to talk about is my 30 series cards. We're going to go real quick here. I have a bunch of 30 series, 3080 rigs here. I'm going to show I have three here and so I'm going to explain what cards I have as you know some people might uh, might try to mimic the same overclock settings I have depending on what card brand they have I have the Asus Tough RTX 3080s okay so you can see my settings here and the reasons why I don't have them higher in terms of memory is because these Asus Tough's thermal throttle so I had to bring down the memory to 2000 instead of 2400, which then I can get about 99 to 100 mega hash. But the memory then becomes too high, uh, too hot in terms of temperature. So then I had to bring it down. Okay, so you can see my power limit is about 225, uh, minus 200 core, 80% fan. I don't have them at 100, but I do have a shop fan and some other 120 mil fans pointing at it. So yeah, that's my uh, Asus Tough 3080 rig. Okay, the next 3080 rig I want to show you guys is a hodgepodge of just 3080 brands. I have MSI, Gigabyte, EVGA, EVGA, and an MSI, uh, MSI Trio, and a MSI Ventus, and an EVGA for the win three, which is definitely like something is definitely wrong with this one, like Silicon Lottery or something. I can't go past 1500 memory. Uh, right now it's at 14 because it's just stable and working now. It has an uptime about 20 hours so far. This, this GPU, I don't know what's wrong with it, but yeah, I can't go to 2000. It just freezes the whole rig and i did try it in windows and same thing the windows it bricks it, it blue screens okay but anyways i'm actually gonna have my 3080 hash rate video tomorrow so if you guys watch that i i will mention you know that all of my 3080s i've tested so far it they all vary in terms of power consumption like you guys can see here i have 260 here 225 227 235 230 like this is me trying to get like the best like critical mass like hash rate to watt ratio like the perfect amount like it's just so hard to fine tune these as you know some of these cards are also th thermal throttling so uh, yeah it's just it's just one thing after another with these cards i tell you it's just heat is actually a big issue with the 3080s okay th the next rig i want to show you guys is my evga for the win three cards now this is a rig you guys probably just saw recently i made this rig on a 12 gpu uh AAA wave frame and thank you AAA wave for sending me that frame so anyways you can see here this rig is really good minus one gpu i have bad one bad silicon lottery one uh getting about 96 to 97 mega hash and i can only go 
up to about 1800 on the memory on that one for some reason. Don't know why. I tried changing the riser. I tried changing the power cables. I tried doing a bunch of stuff, but it would just would not go past 1800 for some reason. But I have five of them that I'm able to get 100 mega hash, which is which is just awesome. So you can see my overclock settings here that I have for my EVGA for the Win 3s, and they're not at 225 like my Asus Tufts. Okay, they're at 227 in order to get uh, 100 mega hash. Now, if I did 225, the hash rate would then drop down to like 96, 95 mega hash. So that's something that you guys should really test out, you know, different power limits as sometimes depending on the GPU brand, you know, the way they were made, power limits, they need a little bit more juice, right? On the core or memory, whatever, all that stuff. Okay, the next rig I want to show you guys is my RTX 3070 rig. And I, yeah, this rig's been going really good. I haven't had to change much. Um, honestly, it's it's just been going. 3070s don't have any issues with thermal throttling. Um, but you can see I'm getting like 62, 62, 62, 60, and 58. Uh, looks like this one might be having a thermal throttle issue. But I'm at uh, 2600 on the memory on all of them. Uh, plus 120 on the power limit for wattage. And then minus 200 core for all of them. And uh, the fan speed, you can see here, I have 100, 100, 70, 70, 70. Uh, so these three, yeah, these ones aren't too bad in terms of temperature, but it's these EVGA XC3s that I had to uh, pump up the uh, fan speed because they're a little bit too hot. Uh, but it looks like they're kind of throttling. I don't know, they're not at 62 for some reason. But anyways, that's my 3070 rig going really good. I'm still waiting for one more to finish this whole rig. But generally, it's been pretty stable, again, using T-Rex Miner. And okay. Now, so that's my 30 series rigs, guys. I hope uh, that was informative in some way or not. Let me know down below. Okay, lastly, I want to go through a few more rigs here. Radeon 7s, RTX 2070s, and 1660 Supers and TIs. Okay, so my Radeon 7 rig, uh, you guys probably saw that video where I got this rig to C mode uh, and Hive OS. Okay, and Team Redminer has the C mode. So I've had to bring down the memory back to 1100. I did do like 1150 in order to get like 100 mega hash, but I was not too fond of the memory junction temperatures. Right now, you guys can see the memory temperatures are generally around 70 degrees Celsius. This one's at 77. You know, these cards are really sensitive and I don't want them to brick. So yeah, they're right now at this, you know, mega hash number, which is good enough for me, but the power consumption is about 180 watts for almost all of them. You can, you guys can see my overclock settings here. Uh, just go watch that video. I'll have it uh, linked down below if you guys want to see how to do the C mode for a Radeon 7. Okay, so next rig, and th of course that's with Team Redminer. I hope I said that before. Okay, next rig I want to talk about is my 2070 rig, RTX 2070s. Yeah, nothing to say about this rig. It's been going good for the past, ever since I made this rig. I know it only shows about 20 hours uptime, but I had to do a update, so that's why it's uh, restarted. But it's been generally on for about 13 days in a row so far. So you can see here my overclock settings, under volts, I have 60 fan, plus 50 on the core, 1600 memory, and 125 on the power limit, getting about 42.18 mega hash. Okay, so pretty easy. That's my 2070 rig. Last rig I want to show you guys for today is my 1660 Super and 6016 Ti's. I have them in, all, I have 12 of them, all the 12 GPUs in a Mindbox 12 server case style rig. Okay, so you guys can see I have pretty much the same. Yeah, I have all the same overclock settings for all 12 of them. And we're getting generally between 31, 30 mega hash for each of the GPUs. And the whole rig, I believe, has taken about 1,050 watts at the wall. But in the software, it says about, you know, 891 watts, which is pretty, pretty amazing for, let's see, how much hash rate are we getting? 370 mega hash, which is really efficient, really awesome. Okay. But yeah, minus 200 core plus 1800 of memory, 75 power limit. Okay. So there you guys go. Those are my hash rates and uh, overclock settings that I'm using for some of my GPUs here, for example. Okay. So disclaimer, my hash rates, my overclocks may not pertain to your GPUs. As we all know, Silicon Lottery plays a huge part. Okay. So when you're applying the overclock settings, they may not work for you. So you may have to fine tune around what I have shown here. And of course I explained with the 3080s, they're pretty temperamental in terms of heat and stuff. So be wary of those. Yeah. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. If uh, you've been using Team Red Miner or T-Rex Miner for your cards, let me know down below, like what software you've been using in Hive OS and uh, which, you know, your overclock settings, maybe it'll help other people as well. I'm not a very heavy user on Hive OS. Like I don't use 
like different uh, options, like different features. I'm very simple when it comes to Hive OS. So yeah, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer. Have a good one and peace out.